This is your KCTV 5 News Update. DNA results lead to charges in a cold case murder in Belton, Missouri. The Cass County Prosecutor's Office has filed murder and assault charges against Charles Branson of St. Clair, Missouri. Branson is currently being held without bond. He's accused of killing Gabriel Brito Ramirez at a trailer home in Belton in 2017. A second man was shot, but also he survived. A bill to increase funding for the Kansas City Police Department is among the first to be considered during the new legislative session. Earlier this year, Mayor Quentin Lucas and the City Council approved a plan to shift millions of dollars in the police budget to other programs. But a judge ruled that since the budget had already been approved, they couldn't do that. The Senate bill would increase the minimum funding requirement for KCPD to 25% of the city's general revenue. Right now, state law requires the city to spend at least 20% on the police department. Mayor Lucas went to Jefferson City today to testify about the bill, saying the 5% increase would give the KC Police Department a minimum of $450 million each year. He also believes that increase would take funding away from Kansas City firefighters, KCI, and the Water Department. To take effect, the bill would also require the approval of state voters to make it an exception to the Hancock Amendment, which limits how much of an increase in spending the legislature can require. Overland Park police need help finding three people involved in a violent shoplifting case. They released these surveillance pictures and police say last Wednesday a woman left a business on West 95th with merchandise without paying. An employee tried to stop her. Two men got out of a car and beat the employee. They left in a silver sedan. If you recognize them, call the tips hotline at 816-474-TIPS. Evening forecast has temperatures in the 40s through 9 and still above freezing even at midnight. Maybe through most of the night you wake up to about 29 degrees. Temperatures take off 47 at lunchtime and 52 degrees on Wednesday. Anytime you hit 40, it's a good day in January and we'll beat that. We'll hit 52. Here's your forecast track. Keep your eyes peeled to the northwest. There's an incoming system. This is your Friday system. Now looking a little more wintry than it did just 24 hours ago. And it looks like it's bullseyeing the Kansas City area. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to end up with knee deep snow, but there could be a reasonable amount coming. According to the forecast track modeling data, we could see between two and three inches of snow completely changing the landscape around here. 52 degrees Wednesday, 51 Thursday, no threat for anything frozen up until that point. After that, your Friday wintry mix comes in late in the day. The snow doesn't actually arrive until after midnight, tapering off as soon as the sun comes up Saturday morning. After that, we'll keep it cool through the remainder of the weekend. Enjoy the next seven days. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.